welcome to the video guys. Imagine my shock on this one. We have a report in the mail online stating transgender inmates have carried out seven sex attacks on women in jail. Despite the risks, male-born trans convicts are still allowed to move to women's prisons. Which we all knew was happening anyway, but seven really doesn't seem like a great number until you start looking at it in the percentages as they go into in this article. Transgender prisoners have carried out seven sex attacks on women in jail, it can be revealed today. Official figures show, for the first time, the true scale of offending by criminals who were born male but were allowed to move into female jails after changing gender. Which does not mean they have had their meat and two veg lobbed off. They can still be swinging a piece of meat between their legs when they roll into this women's prison. Despite the risks, prison governors are still allowing trans inmates to move into the jails. Male-born trans prisoners were first allowed to request a transfer to women's jails in England and Wales in 2016, because that is when the government went full batshit crazy. Just a year later, the risks of the policy were made clear when a convicted rapist was moved to a women's jail, HMP Newhall, and sexually assaulted two women inmates. And this is the person there who done it. Karen White, dressed as a woman but was still legally a man and had not undergone surgery, she was jailed for life in 2018 by a judge who branded her a highly manipulative predator. Now, the Ministry of Justice has admitted that the case was not a one-off. In response to a parliamentary question from Labour Party General Secretary Baroness McDonough, ministers have revealed there have been several other sexual assaults by trans prisoners. But incredibly, the initial response omitted the White case and was only corrected after the Mail on Sunday intervened. The MOJ said since 2010, out of the 124 sexual assaults that occurred in female estate, a total of seven of those were sexual assaults against females in custody, perpetrated by transgender individuals. So, 7 out of 124. Obviously, 124 is still too many, but it's not a great deal since 2010. That is over, of course, 10 years. Or probably 9 years, as these figures were likely up to last year. It means that although trans women make up about 1% of the 3,600 female jail population, they are to blame for 5.6% of sexual assaults there. The attacks took place at HMP Low Newton, HMP Foston Hall, HMP Peterborough and HMP Bronsfield, as well as HMP Newhall as we heard a moment ago. The MOJ said it did not know if the culprits had been punished, saying this information was not held centrally. It also insisted there had been no reported incidents of any type of sexual assault against prison officers by trans prisoners, despite claims to the contrary. Well, no reported doesn't mean there hasn't been any, it just means it hasn't been reported. As the Mail on Sunday reported last month, former prison minister Rory Stewart said in a recent interview there had been situations of male prisoners self-identifying as females, then raping staff in prison. Which apparently they're saying Rory's a liar. Wouldn't surprise me in all honesty, he is a politician. In the wake of the White case, a new policy was developed for considering transfer requests by prisoners, adding specific risk factors that must be considered where they might impact on other prisoners. What, like where they might try and rape them? It would make sense to consider some risk factors on that, let's be honest. Yet, figures obtained under the Freedom of Information Act show increasing numbers of trans prisoners are being allowed to move to women's jails. In 2018, seven requests were made and fewer than five were granted. Yet, last year, 14 requests were made and of those, seven were granted. Last night, Nicola Williams, director of campaign group Fair Play for Women, said, These new figures are another red flag warning us about something everyone knows. Allowing males into female prisons is dangerous for women, which is kind of obvious, especially when you factor in that some of these people may well have been arrested and convicted of sexual crimes, yet they are able to transfer over from a male prison to a woman's prison because they've now decided that they are a different gender. Which just goes to show the batshit crazy world that we live in right now. And we also have here adding on to this story, which is not really related to the direct prison situation, but is still related to the trans right advocates who have been apparently falsely claiming they had government approval for guidance telling schools to open up girls' toilets to male-born children. 
Which is not going to cause any sort of problem, is it, guys? What the hell are these people actually thinking? I don't know about you, but teenage boys are often randy little bastards. I wouldn't want them being able to walk willy-nilly in and out of girls' toilets, that is for sure. A cabinet minister has rebuked trans rights advocates for falsely claiming they had government approval for guidance that tells schools to open up girls' toilets to male-born children. Equalities Minister Liz Truss ordered Equality Teach to stop using the logo of the Government Equalities Office on its controversial guidelines. The Equality Teach document, free to be, tells school teachers and staff they must allow pupils who identify as trans to use the toilets of their choice. After women's rights campaigners raised this issue, Miss Truss demanded Equality Teach amend the document. She said this was not approved by the government, the GEO logo should not be on it, and I asked for it to be removed. Since becoming minister with responsibility for equalities law, Miss Truss has been increasingly willing to challenge trans right advocates whose arguments have influenced many public sector bodies, as we have obviously just seen in relation to the prison situation. Equality Teach accused Miss Truss of failing to support trans children and claimed officials working for the minister had approved the original document. Well, it doesn't matter about officials working for the minister, she is the elected official at the end of the day. What she says should go, she represents the people of this country, you know, that is how it works. So Equality Teach, stick it up your ass at the end of the day, your guidance is nonsense and not something the government backs, so get rid of it, end of story. It's advocacy groups like these people here that have created the situation we see in prison that is leading to female prisoners being raped while they're locked up. They definitely need to get a handle on these organisations if you ask me. But I do have to say I am not at all surprised by this story in the slightest. When you give men the option to change gender and move into a woman's prison, you better understand you're going to end up with some sick fucks going in there and taking full advantage of the stupid laws this pussy whipped country has managed to pass. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving and it doesn't matter which language you use we are going and we are glad to be going we're off <laughs>